What's up, y'all? I want to talk about boundaries today. Y'all want to talk about it? Let's talk about it. Okay, so I didn't start working on this until recently. I have always felt like, you know, everyone should know how to treat each other. There's no reason why I should have to state boundaries, you know? Having boundaries is not bad. It's just a sign of self-love and self-respect. You are basically telling people, you know, this is what I will not accept and this is how you need to treat me. It would save a lot of heartbreak and disappointment. Setting boundaries are pretty simple. You just talk to the people who you are around and the people that you meet and just be like, basically, this is how I feel that a relationship or a friendship should be. These are certain things that I just will not tolerate and I just demand respect from anybody. And I'm going to give the same. I feel that sitting down with someone and you know having a conversation and setting boundaries between one another is a good thing because it would save a lot of wasted time and y'all can have like a mutual understanding of the way that y'all should treat each other. So if someone just crosses those boundaries, then you can just cut them off and not feel sorry about it. Even if you didn't verbally set boundaries with certain people and they are disrespectful or if they mistreat you a certain way, it's still okay to cut them off. I mean, People should know how to treat other people and I understand people go through their stuff, but nobody's a doormat. So if they don't know how to deal with certain situations, then they should be able to speak with someone about what they're going through instead of taking out on other people. If it's something small, then you don't want to be petty because there's many times where I would just be annoyed one day and have an attitude. And then once I realized I had an attitude with someone, I will go back and apologize. So it depends on what it is and who is done by. But if it's something that is extremely serious to you, if someone is just straight up just disrespectful for no reason, or you know, it's something that really go against what you feel to be right, then it's okay to just set boundaries and you can just let that person go or you can talk to that person like, look, this is this is something that really bothered me and, you know, I can forgive you and we can move forward, but this cannot happen again. It's okay to do that. Setting boundaries from the beginning, though, can protect you from toxic relationships, toxic people, and from being hurt mentally or emotionally. People say that forgiveness is really for yourself, and it really depends, though, because it can be if it has such a hold on you, if you are, you know, experiencing all these negative feelings or something is holding you back because you cannot forgive this person. But if it is something that is not really affecting you, you don't have to forgive a person. You know, if a person is just straight disrespectful or mistreated you in a horrible way, you don't have to forgive them. I feel that people need to stop normalizing, just tolerating disrespect. If you allow someone to disrespect you and you accept it, then they'll probably do it again. And not only that, but it's a sign of self-disrespect. This is something that I just wanted to talk about because it was on my mind and I'm currently working on this. But if I would have worked on this years ago, y'all, I would have saved so much time and freaking energy. So I just wanted to talk about this and hopefully it can help someone and y'all can start working on this and set boundaries with other people so that y'all can save some time and energy. All right, bye.